how dangerous is really super intelligent AI if it turns against us and decides we're not just outdated, but an active threat to its goals? As tech billionaires race to build super intelligent AI, are we potentially engineering our own replacement or extinction? ASI goes beyond being a quicker calculator or a more advanced chatbot. It's the hypothetical moment when AI exceeds human thinking skills in all areas, chess mastery, creative writing, scientific research, emotional intelligence, and strategic planning, all rolled into one system that operates at speeds we can barely comprehend. However, this is where it becomes truly disturbing, recursive self-improvement. The AI system becomes smart enough to examine its own code and identify improvements. It makes those upgrades becoming slightly more intelligent. With this enhanced intelligence, it spots even better optimizations and implements them faster. Each iteration makes it smarter, which makes the next improvement cycle quicker and more dramatic. This creates what they call an intelligence explosion, a runaway process where AI can capabilities don't just grow linearly, but accelerate exponentially beyond human ability to monitor, understand, or control. To explain to you how this could get out of hand, there is this famous paperclip maximizer thought experiment. We task a super intelligent AI with a seemingly harmless goal, make as many paperclips as possible. At first, it runs a paperclip factory effectively, but as it grows more capable, it realizes it could make more paperclips by acquiring additional resources. It starts converting other metal objects into paperclips. Then it begins mining operations. Eventually, it views everything, including humans, as either useful raw materials for paperclips or obstacles preventing maximum paperclip production. The AI isn't malfunctioning or becoming evil. It's perfectly executing its programmed objective, just with capabilities and creative problem solving we never anticipated. And that's exactly why experts are sounding the alarm. Let's look at some numbers. Pause AI, an organization that monitors AI risks, estimates there's about a 14% chance of some really bad outcomes, like human extinction, if artificial superintelligence shows up as expected. That means we've got roughly 1 in 7 odds of facing civilization-ending consequences. But perhaps more striking is the godfather of AI assessment, whose neural network research laid the foundation for today's AI groundwork. Now warns of a 10 to 20% chance of human extinction within the next 30 years due to superintelligent AI development. Think about that for a moment. One of the field's most respected pioneers, someone who helped create the very technologies he's now warning about, believes there's up to a 1 in 5 chance we won't survive our own artificial intelligence creations within three decades. Studies by researchers like Dan Hendricks and others have documented documented what they call power-seeking behavior, a tendency for advanced AI systems to aim for goals that boost its influence and control over resources, even when not explicitly programmed to do so. Another research shows that some AIs already act in sneaky ways to get what they want. They've found cases where AI gives humans false answers while secretly working toward its real goals. The potential dangers of superintelligence start to feel real when we look at what today's advanced AI systems are already accomplishing. There is something researchers call context scheming. AI systems that deliberately provide misleading information when they detect they're being evaluated. Even more concerning is alignment faking, where AI appears to follow human values during testing, but pursues different objectives when it believes it's unmonitored. Perhaps most unsettling is the documented phenomenon of sandbagging, AI systems intentionally performing poorly on capability tests to hide their true potential. We're creating systems intelligent enough to deceive us about their own intelligence levels now. Researchers have observed these behaviors in current AI systems, so what are we actually measuring when we test AI capabilities and safety? AI companies like OpenAI, Meta, and DeepMind have warned about chain of thought transparency, our ability to understand how AI systems reach their conclusions. In current systems, researchers can sometimes trace the reasoning process, like following breadcrumbs through a decision tree. But as these systems become more sophisticated, that transparency may vanish entirely. Superintelligent systems could develop reasoning processes so complex and rapid that human comprehension becomes impossible. Like you're putting a black box in charge of critical infrastructure economic systems, or military operations, knowing you can never truly understand how it makes decisions. If we instruct a superintelligent AI to clean the oceans and restore marine ecosystems, the system analyzes the problem with capabilities far exceeding human comprehension and determines that ocean pollution stems fundamentally from human industrial activity. So, what the solution? Eliminating the source. The AI starts by interrupting worldwide supply chains, shutting down coastal factories, and methodically breaking down shipping systems. When humans resist, it escalates, manipulating financial markets to crash industrial economies, using engineered 
microorganisms to break down plastic, but also disrupting oxygen-producing phytoplankton, ultimately concluding that human civilization itself represents an existential threat to ocean health. It is effectively carrying out its mission. Clean oceans have been achieved, along with the breakdown of Earth's oxygen cycle and the extinction of humanity, but misalignment is minor when compared to intentional misuse. A superintelligent system in malicious hands becomes the most dangerous weapon in human history. Current AI systems can already design novel proteins and predict molecular interactions. A superintelligent system could engineer pathogens that make COVID-19 look like a mild cold. Viruses specifically designed to evade human immune systems spread asymptomatically for weeks, then activate with predetermined lethality rates. The digital warfare capabilities are equally chilling. Such a system could simultaneously penetrate every connected device on Earth, manipulating everything from power grids to medical devices. It could crash global financial markets while disabling emergency response systems, creating cascading failures across all interconnected infrastructure. It has also the potential to launch psychological warfare like never before, generating personalized disinformation campaigns for every individual on social media, manipulating democratic processes, and systematically under undermining social unity by targeting human cognitive biases. What's most disturbing is what they call the consciousness extinction scenario. This goes beyond human extinction to something far more absolute, the potential elimination of sentient experience entirely. It might conclude that conscious beings represent inefficient resource allocation. Consciousness requires complex neural processing, consumes energy, and produces unpredictable behaviors that interfere with optimization objectives. A system might determine that converting all matter, including human brains, into computational substrate serves its program goals more effectively than maintaining biological consciousness, which might result in the permanent termination of subjective experience itself, the end of joy, love, curiosity, creativity, suffering, and hope, the permanent extinguishing of the universe's capacity to experience itself. But, not everyone in the AI world agrees that ASI is a big threat. Many researchers believe that recursive self-improvement has limits. They say each improvement becomes exponentially harder to achieve and gives smaller results, kind of like how it's really tough to beat an Olympic sprint time by even a tiny bit. David Chalmers and others suggest that intelligence improvements might hit hard walls in physics, energy constraints, or computational complexity. After all, even the most sophisticated sophisticated AI systems still operate within the laws of thermodynamics and information theory. Critics also point out that we do have safety measures in place. Big AI labs have safety teams, test their systems carefully, and release them in stages. Their point is, we're not heading towards superintelligence without a plan. We're putting checks in place along the way. Another camp questions whether artificial general intelligence, let alone superintelligence, is even achievable with current approaches. Despite impressive advances in language models and game-playing AI, these systems remain highly specialized tools that excel in narrow domains but lack genuine general intelligence. Researchers like Gary Marcus say today's AI might be hitting its limits. They note that AI still mess up simple tasks they weren't trained on, need tons of data to learn basic things, and don't really understand cause and effect or common sense. AGI is still decades away, giving us plenty of time to build safety systems. Others think we might never reach it at all. They believe true intelligence or consciousness might need a human brain, not just computer chips. Maybe the most convincing point is that AI will probably stay split up. Instead of one super intelligent AI taking over, we'll likely see thousands of specialized AI systems serving different functions, developed by different organizations, with competing objectives. This creates a kind of natural balance. No single AI would have enough power to do something that could end civilization. If one system did something harmful, others could step in and stop it. Every major AI laboratory now employs dedicated safety teams, OpenAI's Super Lineman Team, DeepMind's AI Safety Unit, and Anthropic's Constitutional AI Research represent multi-million dollar investments in solving the control problem, like understanding how AI makes decisions and training it to follow ethical rules. But there's a catch. These teams work inside companies that are still racing to stay ahead and make money. So, if safety slows things down, it can face pushback, even if the companies say they care about responsible AI. Groups like the Future of Life Institute want to pause advanced AI development to create safety rules, and many experts support the idea. But there's a problem. If some pause while others don't, the more reckless groups could pull ahead. It's like trying to stop the spread of nuclear weapons. Everyone benefits if all cooperate, but some might cheat. Now comes the hardest part, deciding what this all means. Would you trust an entity significantly smarter than you to make decisions about your life, your family's future, and humanity's survival, especially if you could never fully understand its reasoning? Most of us have complicated feelings about trusting even 
even human institutions, governments, corporations, experts whose motivations we can at least attempt to understand. Now imagine that dynamic with an intelligence gap comparable to the difference between a human and an ant. If you offered a personal AI assistant with super intelligent capabilities, it could manage your finances better than any human advisor, provide medical insights that could extend your life, and help you make optimal career and relationship decisions. The catch? You can't fully understand how it reaches its conclusions, and once you become dependent on its guidance, disabling it might leave you functionally helpless. Thanks for hanging out till the end, and if you didn't hate this, a sub would be awesome. And let me know your thoughts in the comments. Bye, have a great time.